Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I hope your day is going well. On today's episode, I thought we'd take a look at a really cool tool inside of uh, Luminar 4 and that is the Dramatic Filter. So let's delve into that a little bit and see what we can uh, do with it. Uh, it's really good for adding like a, a cinematic feel to your images. It like decreases saturation a bit. It's great for urban images. It, it makes your image look a little gritty. It uh, you know, add some local contrast to add some textures and things. So let's dive into it and take a look at it. This is a perfect image to add the dramatic filter to because it is in that urban type setting right here. So that's kind of cool. First off, let's go and come to AI Enhance. You all know if you watch my videos in the past, I love AI Enhance. I just want to open this room up a little bit and draw some attention to it. So let's go ahead and pull up the AI Accent just to open up the light in that room a little bit. I don't want to lose its drama, but I just want to see a little bit more of the room here. The next thing we want to do is go to the Creative tab, and we're going to make sure we open up the Dramatic Filter right here, and it sits right under the Sun Rays Filter, so just give it a click and we'll open it up. And the Advanced Settings are already open here for me. But we have brightness and saturation in the advanced settings. And we also have the amount of the dramatic effect and the local contrast. The local contrast is really nice because it adds some uh, detail and texture to the image. Let's start out by pulling up the dramatic here. And you'll see as I do, you'll start to see that uh, gritty look come to the image. And it is pulling the saturation down a bit. And that looks really nice. We can also come to the local contrast and give it a little bit more. That'll add some more texture to the image. That might be a little too much, but just adjust this to taste. And I'm thinking maybe right around there looks pretty good. And we could come here and adjust our brightness. We can make it brighter or darken it up a bit. I might just pull the brightness back. Maybe just a very, very little bit here. I like the look that we're getting so far. Let's click this tab right here and um, there this toggle and see the before and the after. I like the effect so far, it's looking really nice. Now let's play with the saturation. If we felt it was losing saturation, we could pull the saturation up or we can take it off. And you could take it the whole way off and even if you take it the whole way off, you're still not losing all the saturation. So that's kind of cool. But let's just take it to where we feel it looks really good. And I'm thinking, thinking right about there. Now let's click the split screen and see where we've come. So there's our before and there's our after. And already I'm really liking this dramatic filter, what it's doing to this image right here. All right, now let's just study the image here. Um, when I look at it, I love the room here. I think the light coming on this table is a little too strong and the light on this chair is a little bit too strong, drawing my in interest away from the room. And this light from this window is super strong right in here. So let me show you how I would fix that. What I want to do is come up to the layers and let's come to the plus sign, click it, add a new adjustment layer. And then let's come to the essentials tab here and let's click on light. And before we do anything, let's come to edit mask and get a brush. Make sure you're on paint in and make sure your softness is at 100% and your opacity is at 100%. Let's click uh, this eyeball right here so we can show the mask. And let's just paint a rough mask over here. Now, when you're doing this, take your time and get it right. But this is a tutorial, so I'm going to be a little fast here. So I'm just going to paint this window right here. Like so. Just make sure we fill it all in. All right. And the other thing I want to do is just paint on this table here because I want to pull this light down here and also on this chair right here. Something like that. And then, then we'll just click done right here. The next thing we want to do is now that we have our mask already painted, we could come here and adjust the highlights. Let's pull the highlights back. Now it's only going to, going to affect the window here. So that's really cool. Because we want to really pull this pull the viewer's eye away from here. And we'll do that with this mask here. And now we'll take the exposure and we'll draw it back a little bit. And we're also notice getting the chair and the table as well. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe, maybe right around there. That looks pretty good. Now, the next thing I want to do is let's add a, let's add a color, color filter here. 
And let's uh, borrow this mask right here. So let's just right click this and click on copy. And what we'll do is go to edit mask, go to brush, come over here to where it says mask and click paste. And now we've pasted that same mask right on there. I don't really care about this. What I want to do is remove some of the color from the people outside. Okay. And I don't think it's going to affect anything if I take some color off of here. So let's click done here. Now let's just take our saturation and pull it back a little bit. And it's only go going to be affecting what's happening on the window and right in this area here. So let's take that saturation and just pull it back a little bit. Because I want to kind of even this image out. I want to have this saturation kind of matching what's happening on the inside of the building. So I just want that to be pulled back a little bit. Maybe somewhere right in there. Now let's uh, click the toggle here on color. There's the before and there's the after. I mean, just it just, you know, balances out the image. And that's very important. When you're working on your images, you want to make sure everything balances out. And that's why I always tell you, really study your images and see what you think. I think one less one last thing that we'll do to this image is maybe add just a slight amount of vignette and I think that'll just pull the whole thing together. So let's come here to vignette and let's just take the amount and let's just pull it back just a little bit here and just to, just to add a little vignetting in there. Now let's click the toggle right there and there and I think that's all we need and I think that looks really nice. Now let's uh, click the eyeball right here. This is the before and this is the after. And I'm really pleased with this. And it really adds to this urban image right here. I love the little grit. It looks more cinematic for sure. And there you have it, the dramatic filter. The dramatic filter is a great filter to add this nice cinematic uh, gritty look to your images. And I love it, especially on urban images. You know, it's also good for like uh, grungy uh, athletic portraits. And... Um, Gosh, you know, you can use it on pretty much anything. If you want to have kind of a nostalgic look to your images, it's a good one to do it too as well. And this basically emulates the bleach bypass look that they used to use in the old days with uh, film type cameras. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Give this dramatic filter a shot. I think you're going to enjoy it. Experiment with it. Have some fun. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Well, I appreciate each and every one of my viewers and subscribers. It's been a real pleasure to do this today. I'll see each and every one right here next time in the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. But until then, happy editing.